And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm Mike Harrison, and yes, we are always working on your financial freedom. It is my absolute privilege to be joining you today. And as always, if you miss any parts of this show, the easiest way really is your podcast app on your smartphone. Hit that, search for Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. You'll find my show, the other host on the show, as well as Dell Walmsley. And it is free to subscribe. Just click that subscribe button. It uploads automatically and if you enjoy the show please share the show and as always I appreciate the emails keep them coming my email address is askmike at l-u-i-n-c dot com but that's enough with the business let's get on to the show I've got a real treat for you today we are gonna share some awesome information so stick with us throughout but I've got Dallas Fort Worth single-family mentor Adrian Johnson on the show with me today and Adrian is real estate retired he is a single family rental property owner but that's not enough for him he is also one of our single family mentors right here out of the Dallas Fort Worth office Adrian how are you my friend hey hey excited to be uh, with you today excellent I really appreciate you taking the time uh, Adrian, as we unpeel the show, why don't we kick it off with a little bit, uh, share a little background about yourself. My wife was pregnant in um, around 2017 uh, when we, uh, in January when we came, when I first came to the two-day. And, um, you know, we I had a toddler, and like I said, she was uh, probably about seven months or something like that pregnant. And um, I was looking for a way, man. I was a teacher. Uh, looking for a way, you know, to kind of support the family because she wanted to come out. You know, we, we had some uh, issues with the first one, so she wanted to come out with the second one and kind of keep the kids for a couple of years. So she's leaving a six-figure income, and I'm, you know, making about 4500 and I'm about to lose um, uh, 1400 of that because insurance. So <laughs> yeah, know, wow. I was looking for I was looking for a way to, you know, make kind of make ends meet. And uh, so, yeah, we came to Lifestyles, and um you know, within that year, we I had a uh, default property. You know, I had because we I had bought a property. I got married. You know, yeah. And, uh, then later on, we bought a house and we paid them off because we were dating Ramsey. But I had to I had to pay for houses, but I still had to go to work. So that was kind of the, you know, uh, was puzzling to me. <laughs> so when yeah. I came over here, and um, you know, at, uh, you know, they showed me the map. You know, in the two day and. I learned about kind of how uh, Dale's system is, and I t uh, refinanced my houses, pulled the cash out, about a quarter of a million. Um, I had about a hundred thousand, and so within that year, I bought seven properties, and um, and um, and you know, and but the the cool thing about it, the day before my son was born, I bought the first one. So this is April. He's born right. in April the sixth, and so April the fifth, I bought the first one. I'm getting ready to turn forty um, in August. And about five in one day. Wow! And so before, and then before my son turns one, uh, about a, about the last one. So that gave us seven uh, before a year um, hit. So, so we had a total of eight. So Adrian, in one year, basically you went from one rental property to eight rental properties just in that twelve month time. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. Holy I mean, holy cow! Um, I was able to double. Um, uh, well, I'll say it like this: I was able to replace my teacher income. Right. And so I didn't. We didn't really miss. Uh, you know, my wife. Like I say, she was, you know, at home, so we didn't really miss her income because you know I was able to double mine. So um, uh, you doubled yours, you freed your wife. She's able to stay at home yeah. and and raise the babies. Yeah, yeah. So she, you know, she was able to. That was a great uh, couple years um, of being able to do that. And so I mean, you, the last so and. So, because what we decided to do is, after a couple of years, we was like, okay, well, I'll come out do the apartments because I'm expiring lead, and uh, she was like, well, I'll just go do the day to day while you do the apartment side, and yeah. uh, but COVID happened, and so you don't know how um, freeing it is to um, 
sit at home and make I, money and like, not worry yeah. about COVID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my <laughs> wife was able to, she because she went back to work, but she lost her job again. And so, yeah. I, you know, I kept teaching because I was going to come out, but I kept teaching for one more year. And um, it was just a, a cool experience because I was able to get Teacher of the Month, Teacher of the Year, um, special recognition for Teacher of the Year. And, um, uh, you know, and, and going to work, even though um, you I didn't, didn't know have what, to. you know, because COVID. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, COVID's going on and you don't know what to expect. And I, I felt like if something would have happened to me, my family would have been okay. You know, so that was the most, one of the most powerful things to actually have to, and, and to go to work and to, you know, realize that you're not there because you have to be, like you say, you're there because you really love what you do. And, um, uh, you know, and, and you try to, because, you know, I really enjoy changing, uh, helping uh, the kids change their lives, you know. And what yeah. I, I was a middle school teacher. <laughs> Woo, well, there's a lot there. At uh, some point, I was going to ask you what your best moment was, but I think you shared about three or four of them. Uh, in that, uh, in in what happened to you, the fact that you were able to buy so many houses in such a short amount of time, double your income, so you really didn't miss your wife's income at all, uh, is is quite amazing. That's an amazing feat to do that in in one year. Tell me, what do you like about the single family approach versus the passive investing approach through multifamily? Well, it's, you know, it it comes down to the goals. My goals were at the time I didn't have a lot of cash, and so in order to kind of you know not miss out on uh, not miss out on the life we had, I needed some cash flow. So at that right. time, 2017, cash flow was uh, really big. You didn't have a lot of equity capture like you have now, but you yeah. had a lot of um, uh, cash flow. So I just went in. That that was just you know I figured I'd just do the um, uh, single family houses and you know get the cash flow up and. Um, Late because ultimately we always wanted to go the apartment route, but because, right. like I say, just our goals and our circumstances, I just had to m- go to the single family. And it, you know, it's been real good. You know, uh, after about four years, you know, my income uh, uh, tripled. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, my net worth tripled. Um, you know, from three fifty to one point one uh, mil. So, you know, so it's been it's been real good. I, you know, so we got a millionaire uh, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and it's, it's the strangest thing. I don't. I mean, I don't. It is uh, weird feeling. Really feel any different? But you know, you know, yeah. you look at the numbers. But I mean, I'm still still the same old average person. But uh, yeah. but you know, having the resources that you know to be able to make your own uh, life decisions and decide on the things that you want to do versus what you have to do, uh, it's pretty powerful. You know, that's a that's a really good point that you brought up because I think a lot of people. They don't. They don't really understand their goal. They they go. Oh, I want to invest in in real estate. Like, okay, so what do we want to do? If cash flow is the goal, um, houses are quick. I mean, ninety days, boom, you're getting paid. And um, again, if you don't start with a lot of money, like I didn't start with a lot of money, uh, houses is is for sure the way to go. So yeah, excellent point there. Let's go back. Let's go. You're still a, a young guy. Let's go back to. Uh, young Adrian, you're in the education world. Uh, you're you're teaching kids to to learn and be better people. Um, what was what was young Adrian's outlook for retirement before real estate investing? Well, I'm gonna even take you back a little before that. Growing up, the biggest thing was to get a house, and if you're lucky, add on you know have a real nice house, and it may be a rental, you know maybe. But the yeah. biggest, so I thought, you know, by the time I'm 60, I have a house, I'll add on to it, you know, and I'll reach, the, you know, the plateau or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Successful. And so when I came over here to this group, you know, I learned about, like I say, um, you know, what's actually possible. So I'm, I'm, I'm about, I'm right before Lifestyle, it's 2016, right before 2017 when I joined, uh, 2016, like October-ish. I'm Dave Ramsey now. Um, yeah. Thinking about okay, buying a house because we were used to buying a house and paying them off. So I'm like, I'll right. you know buy seven houses in 15 years and I can retire at um, I, I think around 55 or something like that in 15 years. And yeah. so because uh, I was 40 at the time. Um, and so uh, getting ready to turn. And so basically, I was excited because see, I, I had teachers they would retire and come back and sub the next year, and I'm like. 
you just did 30 years in education. And he's talking about you got to come back to work. And yeah. so I was like, I can't do that. So I figured out a plan. So I was like, I'll buy a house, pay it out, buy a house. And, you know, like I say, maybe when I'm 55, I can walk away. I have yeah. pay for houses, <laughs> eight pay for houses, I guess. And so, but when I came to LU, like I say, January, uh, went to the two-day, whatever. But when we got started uh, actually buying, I did seven in one year. Now, the power in that is, um, you know, I was able to, like I say, replace my income with the cash flow, and my houses were able to appreciate versus if I would have did it one by one over the years. But the, the prices, you know, how especially in this market, you know, whereas they used to be like around 100, maybe 200, you know, they're like three and four now. So that strategy really wouldn't have worked, but I didn't understand that then. And well, so I'm glad I did it the way I did it. Yeah, and and Adrian, I want to I want to hit that point because you and I get it. We do this every day, but for the listener, so uh, Adrian and his wife were conservative. They were doing the Dave Ramsey paid in full house, but we bring the bank to every deal. Uh, as leverage for several reasons, but primarily, uh, and just to to make it basic, I can have a hundred thousand dollar paid for cash home. That means I've come out of pocket a hundred thousand dollars, and if my appreciation is five percent that year, I made a five percent return. But let's say I took twenty thousand out of pocket. I brought the bank to the deal, so the bank brings eighty. I bring twenty. That same house appreciates. Five percent that year, right? The same five percent, five thousand dollars. But what is five thousand of twenty? That's a twenty-five percent return on your investment. So when Adrian's talking about appreciation, it's not necessarily why we buy. It's just advantage number five when we buy a property. But I've always said appreciation's the silent millionaire maker. Adrian, so you and your wife, you're conservative, you're Dave Ramsey, and you come to Lifestyles and they start talking about this leverage, this debt. What did your wife think? Oh, <laughs> you know, I think she was uh, on board. I, I think she, you know, she really got excited about the apartment. So she was like, anything that's going to get us there, <laughs> you know, you yeah. know, for us, like starting off with a single family, you know, and doing what we need to do uh, to, so we can move forward. Uh, she was excited. I mean, I didn't, because Dale used to talk about it all the time, and I and it, literally, I'm glad you um, brought this point back up because I didn't get like really get appreciation. Yeah, I did, you know, said so I understood it, but I didn't get it. And yeah. so when I bought those houses, and then you know, because you know, the first few years, you're like, what is it doing? You know, you don't really, you know. And I charted it, and I was like, oh man. The rentals paid down like thirty thousand, and you know, uh, yeah. uh, it's um, uh, a principal. Well, the, oh, yeah, the, the bank doesn't That's care right. about the appreciation. You're just paying them the interest on the loan. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at eight five five four ninety seven forty three thirty five. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Lifestyles Unlimited members share their stories and strategies for success at case study events. If you got laid off tomorrow. What would you do? Would you have to be working at McDonald's or wait to try and find another job with the downsizing in the economy? Kept on coming to meetings, even with David Fisher online and stuff like that, but still we just like, we need to make the jump. So we kept praying for time to get this job done, to, to be able to find the properties. How do we find the properties? How do you find the time? And God answered our prayers and he got downsized from his corporate job. But they didn't buy just one house, right? No, they did not. You rehab in house number nine right now. Nine. Wow. So every month, the cash flow is $3,200. Okay. The equity of all the houses is up to 280000 Join us this month. And learn from people just like you. Check in person and online dates at lukstudy.com. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm Mike Harrison. For you listeners, if there's a topic of real estate you'd like me to hit on the show, I'd be happy to. Send me an email in the subject line, put show topic, and my email address is askmike at L-U-I-N-C dot com. If I can get it on the show, I'll be glad to get it on the show. And if you're interested to learn what Adrian and I do as real estate investors and how we make money five ways on a single family property, go to freeworkshoplivestream.com. And Adrian, of the last segment, you got cut off 
uh, there, and we were talking about one of the primary ways we make money in real estate. Uh, it's simple. It's quiet. It's happening in the background, but that's appreciation. Yet another point you wanted to make in regard to appreciation on your rental properties? Oh, just to finish the comment, I was because we were talking about how I didn't understand how powerful it was. And so with those um, eight houses in about four years, um, you know, the appreciation grew like $800,000. So that's, what I was, you know, the point I was making is that, I it's mean, amazing. you know, that's, that's super powerful when that was, you know, because I was used to saving, living off uh, one income. Me and my wife probably made about 120 and uh, together. And we would, you know, live off one income. And we did that for like 10 years. You know, and you can't save your way, but that appreciation no. in about four years, you know, <laughs> did more than, you know, we could, you know, could have done in that we did in 10 years. One of us was like working in those four years, you know, uh, I think both of us was working like maybe one of those years. But so it was like. Make yeah, you don't money. get paid that much. I mean, there's no one gets paid. I, look, there's somebody out there that makes that. But look, quietly. Doing nothing, I've always said appreciation's the silent millionaire maker. And the beauty is appreciation compounds on itself. So if your house went up 5% in 2020, well, that 5% then compounds. If it goes up another 5% in 2021, that's growing, and it just it compounds. I mean, it's so unbelievably it powerful. Crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So, Adrian, those houses, those eight houses, are you self-managing those properties? So what I did was I got a property manager, yeah. And uh, because, like I said, I didn't want my wife worried about the um, uh, just. I just wanted to focus with the kids and everything. And then keep in mind, you know, at the time I was in school, and so I didn't have time to um, okay. if something were to happen, I didn't have time to be on the phone like that, you know, in the middle of the day. So I just let someone manage it, and you know, still did real good with returns, even having a property manager. So. Yeah, property management companies, depending on how many properties you own, I've seen everything from six and a half, seven percent to ten percent, um, yeah. and it's yeah. not a killer. I mean, it's you you can self manage yourself, or you can get a property manager. Some great ones out there uh, that are part of our vendor program, as a matter of fact. So, and you can talk to other members at Lifestyles and go, "Hey, who's a good property manager?" and uh, people will gladly share that information. We're such a, a close group. So, Adrian, let's um, let's go back to speaking of difficult. What was the hardest part? I mean, we're we're trained from age four and five that you know you got to work your whole life, and that's how you get ahead. And and you've let go of that conventional wisdom W two world, as I like to refer to it. What what was the hardest part of letting go? Well, you know, it's that fear, the fear of you know, if it's, this is really going to work. Cause I mean, those, yeah. you know, you hear people being successful, but it's like, I understand, you know, people are successful, but can it happen to me? And so I think what helped though, was getting around. That's the unique thing about our group. It's like, you know, none other, you know, the members talk, they're transparent. You know, you can ask some questions, pretty much yeah. they'll open up to you. And I think that's what made the difference where, you know, I had people, you know, I would watch them over the years, be, you know, be be successful. And then, you know, and it only added to my success because it's hard to be around successful people and not become successful. You know, right. And right. So, I see a lot of people that uh, they say, well, but I'm an example. Like, I want to get out of corporate America. I don't want to. I mean, the politics inside that, just the grease, the grind. And, and I made excellent money. But go do something you want to do. I see a lot of people do that uh, case study the other night, uh, husband and wife team. Uh, she was able to retire. And then she said, you know what, I'm, a, I'm a, she took a money with a uh, took a job with a hard money lender. So she's still involved in the real estate and just having a lot more fun and a, a low pressure job. So, um, yeah, if it, passive income. Uh, if you want to re retire yourself, sure. Or better yet. Uh, well, not necessarily better yet, better for, for you or for, for each individual. Go do go do something you want to do if you still want to work. Nothing wrong with that. So, Adrian, not to outdo yourself, but that went enough for you. You, you became one of our single-family mentors. <laughs> Tell us what that is and why. Well, that, so basically a single-family mentor, what I do is I sit down with the members and um, help them – achieve success like you know uh we've achieved it and so basically it's kind of like <clears throat> i used to give the example for it's like when you go to six flags 
if you were to come out here on vacation, you know, you'd probably get a ticket for two two days. Yeah. And you would get up in the morning and be out there all day exhausted because of the hot sun, you know, these Texas Texas summers. And so, you know, and um, uh, you would enjoy yourself, but it would be very exhausting. But, see, if you, you know, had someone like me that's been here, been to Six Flags multiple, multiple times, I would tell you, hey, don't do that. Hey, let's go, you know, about 4 or 5 o'clock. And, I, you know, and the way I would take you through the park, you could ride pretty much – mostly everything you would have wanted to ride anyway. And and because everyone, you would have great parking because every, everyone's starting to leave. Yeah. So we'll get great parking. <laughs> and we, you know, and I'll take you straight to the rides. You know, we'll go get on the fun rides real quick, and the lines are shorter because everybody's going home now. And so uh, with a couple of days of that, you'll be in just as much fun as yeah. my experience. And that's what, yeah. like a single-family mentor. Um, like Rick told me, Rick Johnson, he's one of the single uh, national single family mentors, but he used to be uh, in the DFW area. And when we sat down, now keep in mind, I just told you I had a, a vision of seven houses and paying them off, right? Yeah. In 15 years. And he said, hey, how many houses do you want? I said, well, how many can I have, Rick? And he was like, well, you can get up to 10 in your name. I said, put 10 down, Rick. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, just being able to uh, have someone to guide me. Oh, God, us, me and my wife, and uh you know, show us what's possible. So that's the importance about being a, uh, the, what I do. I show people what's possible, you know. Yeah. Um, and you guide them, you, so, you know, prevent them from making mistakes. <laughs> so um, talk to me about someone who's, you, you kind of hit on this, they're a little skeptical. Um, what's their biggest risk uh, in your mind? Well, I, you know, I think um, real estate is really forgiving. So, I mean, if you feel like you're coming in, you're going to, you know, we're going to help you not make those mistakes. But, you know, even if, you know, surprise things happen, you you know, we're still here to help you. So, yeah, we're you know, planning you for it. Be afraid that you're doing it by you. I think feeling like you're not, you know, knowing that you're not doing it by yourself. And, yeah. Uh, you got, like I say, over 30 years of experience. Um, uh, you know, we've been around a long time, you know, and I'll tell you what, when I came out, because after, um, I stopped working. I re- real estate retired. I was off for a year. And so this is how I got the lifestyles. They uh, approached me for it's like they wanted me to come on the team. And um, I wanted to do it beforehand, but I was always in a teacher contract. So I never could uh, quit teaching. And yeah. So I was, you know, like I said, I wasn't working. And they approached me. And I literally, like, um, decided to come, you know, uh, help out because of how my life changed. Like, I wish I can go into how much my life changed and, um, you know, dreams that I never thought would, well, I thought that were possible, but I never thought they would be possible uh, this early. You know, right. I'm thinking this is like 65, you know what I mean? And so I'm 20 years ahead of the game, right, or more. And so it's like I came on board, you know, it wasn't for the money. Now, I take the money, <laughs> but sure. I don't do this for the money. And so, uh, And so I'm saying that to say, you know, from this is my heart, my passion. I love working with people. And when you got people, like I say, over here, that we're we're not doing it for the money. You know, we're really doing it for your success. Uh, yes. it's a different. It's a, it's just a different atmosphere. And so that's that that person that's afraid to you know jump in and take that leap or uh, not sure. You know, you you've tried it your way. Look at the last five years. How successful have you been? Well, you know, our motto is, is you know, you can be real estate retired in five years or less. And so if you did it your way five years and you're not where you want to be financially, hey, just come take the two-day. <laughs> yeah. Real estate is very, very forgiving. Come see what we do. You're, you're on it. I think someone's biggest risk is when someone, they hear all these horror stories, oh, I don't want to get into real estate. And I say, okay, uh, go back to work for five years. <laughs> and I, and tell me how your retirement plans working. I I think the biggest risk for somebody out there is not doing this, not creating the passive income because they're going to wake up and they're going to be sixty five and they're not going to be able to retire and then they're going to be one of those twenty percent of all seventy year olds that are still working, uh, or worse. So that's for me that's the risk. It's not buying the asset uh, and putting a, a a resident in there. So all right, Adrian, uh, uh, potential. 
a new investor comes to you, and I'm sure this question is one of the first ones they say is, I've got, let's say someone has $150,000, and they say, all right, Adrian, should I do single-family properties, or should I do passive income investing in multifamily properties? And like I say, it depends on, there's no really uh, right or wrong answer. It just depends on your goals. If you got 150, yes, you can go straight into multifamily passive investing. Um, if you're the type that, like I say, you want to just go to work and you don't really, uh, you want to let, um, and I'm saying the lead, the lead is the person that's going to be actually purchasing right. the asset to where you can invest in the um, asset with them. And so if you want to let them do all the work, that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to be a little more involved, don't mind being a little more involved, um, you know, I would say you could do single family. Uh, the difference is you'll be in more control of the asset. You probably make a little bit more, but um, but you you will be responsible <laughs> yeah. for doing all the work. So if you don't want to do the work, I would say go passive. But if you you know you don't mind coming in and doing the work, and um, you know maybe you want to try it out, um, you know hey we'll help you with it. So so it's no wrong answer. It just it just depends on how much work you want to how much you how involved you want to be. Yeah, how involved? But uh, to that same individual, I'd say is is 150. Is is that everything that you're going to be able to come up with? Because ultimately, we'd like to get that 150 up. And, and right now, in houses, I mean, they could double that in easily in, yeah. in one year. Yeah. Um, if I was if I was counseling them, like I would say, you know, 150, I could probably get five houses um, within a year. Um, you know, something like that. Depend. I'm just looking at this market. I could do more in other markets, but it just depends on what market. Because usually, this market is about you know 26, 27 out yeah. of pocket um, equity capture. I've seen you know um, 30s, 40s, 50 uh, k, and uh, cash flow around 200. So you know, we could you know easily um, definitely get you into some houses and um, uh, you know double your income easily. So. So it's just it's just one of those um, this, which strategy makes the most sense for you because each individual you know some some are older some are younger and um, some have a little more time some have a little less there's certain careers um, you know where some people I deal with you know I talk talk to a mentor you know they have time to where if they need to get on the phone they can easily do that but there's some people you know um, they don't they can't you know in the middle of the job do that so it's a little bit harder. Um, so it just it just depends on what, like I say, their goals and what they're capable of doing. But uh, either way, we're going to support you. We're going to be here for you. Uh, yeah. We're going to help you, you know, reach your goals. You just let us know what how best we can help you. Yeah, maybe maybe do a little of each and and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, you can try. All both. right, yeah. All right, Adrian, we've got one minute. And what would you say to somebody that's out there on the sidelines right now? They're not a real estate investor, but they're listening to us and they're saying, this is something I want to do. I want to jump well, in. I'll tell you, yeah, I, you know, like I said, I know it's scary. Um, this is way before lifestyles, but I lost around 150, uh, you know, when I started trying to do real estate. And then, you know, I know what it is to be scammed. I know what it is to have, you know, crooks, um, you know, take advantage of you. But then when I found Lifestyle, listen, this you know, it was something amazing. I've never seen anything like this group to where, it, like, I would dedicate part of my life to come help out. And so what I'm saying is if you're skeptical, uh, if you're afraid, just take the first step. Take the first step, sign up, come listen, see what we're about, you know, and go from there. You know, yeah. don't, don't, you know, I would say that was it. You know, just come listen to us, see what we're about, and, and you know, and get around some people because it's not like the people on stage are the ones that are successful. The people that are in the audience that see that's the difference. The people that are in the audience are successful. So I ask you, I dare you to come check us out and uh, see what we're about. I hear you. I always say, uh, if you want to live the life that others don't live, you've got to be willing to do the things that others won't do. So jump in. Uh, the water's great. We'd love to have you and change your life today. My name is Mike Harrison. I want you to remember, it's not the money, it's the lifestyle. Make it a great day.
The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.